What's up guys, it's me Braden Cole with Eat Sleep Game Productions. Got some interesting news for you, but before that, this game I'm playing right here, it's called Mischief Makers for the Nintendo 64. Great game, great storyline, great music, it's a great 3D side scroller and it's full of fun times, and I mean I'm not even joking, this is on my top 10 games of all time. But that aside, the PlayStation 4 might already be here. As everybody knows, Sony purchased Gaikai for $360 million. With that being known, people are thinking the PlayStation 4 might already be here. Well, how, how is that? I haven't seen it on stores. I haven't seen any advertisements. It's because you already own it as a PS3 owner. Did I just blow your mind? For those of you that don't know what Gaikai is, Gaikai is a cloud service which means that you could stream games just like you stream videos onto YouTube. You could stream games straight over to your computer at the highest quality, at the highest settings, at the highest resolution with minimal graphical components. You don't need a lot. Like the GameCube or the PS2 can do cloud gaming if it was added onto it. Like you don't need a lot of power to run these high definition games. But what you do need is a high internet connection. But in the future, most everybody's going to have a higher internet connection. At least, well, most people. Some people might not. But I could support cloud gaming on the 5 megabytes per second I get. That's if nobody else is on Netflix. Nobody else is playing any games in the other rooms. Nobody else is on YouTube or uploading any videos. Or nobody else is downloading anything. I could do it if I'm here by myself. With no problems. But... The PlayStation 4 might already be here because once they get their Gaikai going, there's no real reason for PlayStation to actually release a new console because they can give you the next-gen experience on the PlayStation 3. And this might be a smart move. Now, I need you guys to remember, this is just a theory, but it's a theory that everybody's thinking. Like, this is this could happen with the release of the Sony PS Vita. It's mo more than likely that this could be a very good possibility because they've added so much support with the Vita to the PlayStation 3 that it's just, it's just possible. There's already games available on Gaikai. It's Terra, The Witcher 2, Need for Speed, The Run, Mass Effect 3, Alan Wake, Ski Region Slim, Darksiders, Saints Row the Third, Dead Island, Rayman Origins, and it just keeps going on and on. Mass Effect 2, Dragon Age 2, Assassin's Creed's Brotherhood, Bulletstorm. There's a ton of games already on it. Now, people are thinking next year at E3, Sony's going to have this big presentation and they're going to go... They're going to show off these extremely high-definition games, just these retarded high-definition games. And then it's going to end, and text is going to pop up, and it's going to say, PS4 is already here. You own it. And it's going to show a picture of the PlayStation 3. What do you think of that? Now, this might, this might be true, this might not be true, you know, but it's something that's actually very interesting, and it would mean Sony actually has done something creative super creative and they just didn't steal the idea from Nintendo or anybody else so what do you guys think like let me know in a comment I mean it seems pretty cool I don't know though 